Welcome back to the final episode of The Search to Full Walkthrough, covering all alternative boss kills and DLC items. And you can see we've only got one more alternative boss kill to go. That red glowy mist up top fighting Athena. We're going to go take care of that as we work our way up the Great Wall. As you can see, I'm still using the same gear as the last episode. I did toss in the unyielding stabilizers uh, in replace of the incendiary core since I, can, I have enough core power now. Uh, when I get about six more points, I'm going to swap in the tactile amplifier. That'll probably happen at the end of the episode. So for now, we're going to head across the zip line here. See, Battle Royale is happening up here. You got people shooting at each other, snipers up top. You got these guys cowering behind the crates. So you should be able to uh, take these guys out without too much difficulty. We do need to get up top and take out those guys who are shooting. kind of actually just run by him. No loot up here, but you can see the guys are up on that platform that are shooting down. Be careful. Note there's a little symbol there that says you can drop down here and get some loot. And you can actually go out there if I remember right to get it. Just out here. This loot here, um, and then you also have a door there, which we can't open up yet, but that will open from the other side with our, um, when we get over to that point. That also gives you a shortcut higher up, uh, so you're back up here where we just were fighting that. Oh, and I left some loot over there. Should go pick that up. that guy get out of range of the weapons. He should chase you up. Deal with this guy too.
was trying to pull him back so that he wouldn't fall off the edge. A little bit of loot back here. So be sure to sh thank our friend here, Blackrock. that guy there. Um, there's also a chest over there that we're going to get. So hopefully we can pull him back and not get shot at. Oh, he decided to jump off. Fair enough. Now you can, if you want to, um, knock these guys off. But if you do that, they will respawn back up here. So you're better off killing them. So I'm actually going to do not using elemental damage, then this gives you a flat 10% damage increase. It's actually a decent implant. And because I'm not using um, elemental damage, I could, even at this point, I think, nope, I'm still a little bit short. Need two more points, I guess, for it. A couple more points. Um, anyway, but that is a good one to get. Two more points. head up here. Um, that scientist who fell down below shouldn't be able to get us. Give that guy credit for uh, pulling a fast one on me. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do is we should be able to fall down. There's a piece of loot on that platform there. Um, and we should be able to fall down get it. I'm trying to remember where the drop point is exactly. I think it's right here. There we go. So we get the loot here. Um, all the stuff down below has already died, so no, no problem running back up. You don't take any damage from falls either, so I'm not sure if I rated that tag, actually. Maybe I should rate that tag. Deadbite, thank you. And now we'll continue on up. I'm not sure what that thing is referring to saying that there's loot over here. I don't... I don't believe it. There's loot back there. But I think for that, it's safer to go around that way, if I remember right. Because otherwise, you'll have to jump out into the to go with the way that I know. So be careful not to fall down behind that crate. We come down here and get this guy. him out, you can go out on this one. A couple of pieces of loot out here, you just gotta be a little bit careful. There's one out on that side too, so when we get a little bit higher up, I believe we can fall down there and get that piece of loot. This is where we get the rig capacitor XXL, which we passed up doing the metamorphosis quest earlier. I think that was just telling you 
pretty sure there's no other room up around in that muck up there, so yeah, you're better off going this way. Um, and in fact, I believe a mark indicating of such. We do want to open up that zip line over there, but I think we do that uh, by coming down from up above. Yeah, I think if we try and go this way, we're going to fall. Nope, maybe not. There we go. Can get around that way. All right, so we'll open up that zip line. Try to go that way. around this side and then it gives you uh, more nanite that you can walk across. So that's kind of handy. <clears throat> now there's nothing out there and if you try and jump you'll die. go this way and we will pass by that section um, that has just been covered over by nanites and you'll note this tag here so we need to pay attention to that there's an emergency reserve injection here um, we already have that so we just get the implant circuitry then we can come out here and drop down and that'll open up this door here to the underground. And so this is that last shortcut uh, that you weren't able to get to before. And so when you're going to farm, if you don't want to go through AID command to get all the way to to the Kraken, um, you can come through here instead. And so this makes it a little bit easier to get back to the Kraken. Um, you can just run over to um, one of the exits to, so that exit to Port Nixon, um, which isn't too far from here. And, and in fact, I'll show you where that is. That guy was, for some reason, um, just ignoring us. That's fine. So you would go across there to the left and um, go through the caves and down. When you get to the bottom of the caves, then that'll take you out to Port Nixon. So that's probably the fastest pathway back to uh, the Kraken if you want to farm the arena for tech scrap. And you're going to need a lot of tech scrap to upgrade your stuff. So, And to craft all of the armor sets as well. So we'll go back in here, and uh, I'll unlock a little bit more, and then we'll continue on. And when you get back up here, you'll everything will be respawned, but you basically want to come over to this maglev down. That'll open up that doorway here, 
and you'll get access to this magma. So you'll remember that door was closed off before. There is a way to get through to it. Um, and this is where that loot was right at the beginning. And this is sort of that section where there was, uh, you know, where we had come out here previously. the beginning in the entrance so now if you come in from the entrance you can actually just kind of hang head around here um, head up the mag lift and it'll take you back up So, shortcut unlocked. Now, I'm going to come out here, and we'll continue on from, and I'll get you back up to the, um, to where we just unlocked that. had to go across that first. Um, we will be able to come down from up top on there and go and get that piece of loot. So I think that's in the next area. Keep an eye out for this guy up here. I tried. Um, so this will open up this repeller coil, or uh, exo line rather. We want to take that across and grab some goodies. This opens up a shortcut back to the med bay. Um, I don't think there's any loot out here on the roof, but I'm going to check just to be sure. Oh yeah, there is. Then I think there are some boxes you can break here. No. And that's to the med bay, so then we can go back up. So we just open up one shortcut open up a series of exo lines and shortcuts back to the mid bay as we're going higher up the wall. So the next one we'll open up is here. And you can actually um, jump across to that too. So let's 
looks like a lot of other people enjoyed the view. So that one's up, that one's down. That guy landed out there. I didn't even realize he could stand on that. I don't think there's any way back, though, so I'm not going to risk going down and fight him. Get the audio log. This isn't about me. It never was. And then I swore it chose me for a purpose. Saving humanity is my thing. I will save everyone. The children of the spark. The people of Jericho City. The girl in the swarm corrupted by her power. And yes, even you. <laughs> Warrior. We're just gonna hang back here, let them deal with the scientist. Uh, he's chasing me now. If he comes after you, just kind of retreat back. could charge out and fight both of them if we wanted to, but it would be easier to just let them take care of each other. Oh, looks like he doesn't want to engage anymore. He's just ignoring this dude. Alright, fine, you're gonna die. totally stuck. That gives us the Nano Absorber EX, so we got that one even though we passed on it on the quest down below for the Professor. So that one will reduce buildup of Nano effects. Not the first time we've seen that. You do have some stairs down here uh, before you go up, so we're going to want to go down to that area that we were at uh, previously. And you'll remember um, there's the loot out there, so this is where we go to get that piece of loot. It's nothing special, just a cache or a cache of advanced tech, um, but might as well get it, and then we'll just jump across to over there. In fact, I'll be nice and let people know. That's going to open up another shortcut here in a little bit. Be careful when you come out here. There are guys with guns. There's this dude to worry about. And kind of the easiest way to go here, um, as these tags would indicate, is don't go out there for that because he'll shoot you and knock you off, right? So you don't want to get knocked off. Um, so we'll go this way. In fact, I will break the tags. There you go. This way lets you creep around behind those guys. You do need to kind of be careful over here still because you can fall off and why not be careful of your distancing. Um, you could actually hit this guy from behind and knock him off, but again, he's 
just going to respawn up here. So we're going to let him uh, come after us and then we'll deal with him ourselves. Audio log on the side, but we're also going to get ambushed by this guy. So let's take care of him first. It's a sight to behold, isn't it? The Great Wall of Jericho. Yeah, it serves its purpose well. You really think it'll contain the nanites? <laughs> Look, don't make me laugh. Have you seen the blueprints? It's basically just a bunch of giant magnets. But why did we build it in the first place of everything? One word, kickback. Listen, I don't care if you want to save your family or whatever. Some people believe in the wall. Others pay big money for it. It's all about politics. Everything has its use for somebody. And that's good enough for me. Guys, use your drone and take him out. He should come over and attack you. I can come over here and get the loot. There's nothing else back here, really. If I remember right, you got a couple of things going on here. We can open that. Yeah, there they are. Whoa. Danger, danger. So that opens a mag lift up, but we're not going to want to take that quite yet. So you've got a med bay there. And you can also go down and open up that door down. This is that shortcut that we saw earlier, right? And there's still this door here that we haven't been able to go through yet. But if we die, that's a shortcut, shortcut back up. Um, and then when we fight that stuff, we've got first aid station over here that you can use. Remember right, we're going to get to that one by coming down from up above. Grab your loot.
Yeah, I know I'm moving kind of slowly on this. Uh, just trying to make sure. Grab everything that I remember. Now, these guys. Are where you're able to start farming uh, MK10 gear. But when we get up to the other uh, med bay higher up, then there's a convenient spot to actually farm one of these by itself. So we're going to wait to farm them until we get up to that. But for now, I'm going to just focus on getting body parts. So maybe I will do body on this one. Um, you can actually jump across from here and get that loot. But if you want to drop down, we circle back around anyway, so it's not a big deal. And there is an audio log down here. We're going to have where sectors has come to his abeyance. We're running out of materials. Government supports get more chaotic by the hour. These guys can hit pretty hard, so be careful. And that's given us three pieces of the Technogenesis arm or, uh, set so far. Killing enemies restores health, and it also gives you increased nanite demand. So we just need the head for that set yet. There's one weapon we need for that too. So a little bit of loot back here. And the guy who was hiding from the Technogenesis piece back here. And we can go up and get that piece of loot that we saw earlier. The reason I pulled him back in the hallway is because there's another one of the Technogenesis guys up there that's going to ambush us when we come out here, if I remember right. No, maybe not quite here. There he is. up there. Uh, he doesn't have the head, so we're going to go ahead and go for his arm, I guess.
full set piece. You can add some uh, tungsten. We're still not getting the, the weapon off of those guys, so we're gonna get the final weapon. We'll get it in the farming. Alright, so you can run up there and run back down and get the lithium polymer cells, which we already have, or you can just kind of pick it up through the vents there. That is where I believe we want to go down. I'm trying to remember how we get down to that. Interestingly enough, these guys don't actually attack you until you attack them. So you can creep over here. It's kind of nice of uh, deck 13 to do this, but you can, you can come over here. Hit the mag lock, which unlocks the exo line, which gets you back. And when you do that, Athena will take out that whole guard post. Actually, I'll go and collect the loot before we continue. there. I mean, you could have fought him if you wanted to. Uh, it's a difficult pack, but might as well let Athena do her thing. Then we'll go down the exo line and open up that shortcut we saw a little while ago. One by one, they drop like a fly. With every sacrifice, I feel more powerful, more liberated. At last, I have become the spark incarnate. Soon, my true power shall be revealed for the whole world to see. The spark will strike. The world will change! that was the door we saw earlier. So we now got two shortcuts open that'll take you all the way back to the med bay if you want to. Uh, we'll just continue on. Back up the exit. So there's still that one mag lift down that we haven't found yet that opens up that door. I'm drawing a blank on how we access that one. But there's this guy here, you can talk to him. Everyone's dead. I'm the last man standing. I don't... I don't even know what happened. All of a sudden this crazy creature walks us through the battlefield like a tank. Next thing I know, out both sides with a flick of his finger. And then, just a few moments later, that snake goes crazy.
so up to you whether you kill him or not. If you don't kill him, as soon as you walk up those steps there, he dies anyway. Really up to you whether you want to kill him or not. Put him out of his misery. He didn't ask to, uh, or you walk away. But for killing him, he gets the metal scrap. Kind of sad. Killed the last man standing. Nearly there. You've got a few more enemies to clear out before you get all the way up top. One more shortcut, and you also have this guy. So he's going to split in two, all of these guys do. Um, and you're going to want to, you know, farm whatever mats you need to upgrade your gear to um, MK10. this guy is so close to the med bay this is a perfect spot ah, and there we go we got the pillar of oblivion um, which was the third weapon we needed to get from these guys so it's pillar of oblivion the uh, nano barbed impaler and the crystalline hook blade all drop off of these guys so we got all three now uh, it's not a great weapon it's sort of on a par with uh, the infected fetch knee and whatnot. So just another nano damage, heavy duty. So you want to fight that guy um, repeatedly and farm him. And um, I'll do that just before Brother e Eli. I'll take a little break and I won't record all the farming because you don't need to see that. Um, but basically you're going to want to farm these guys. Get all the, the parts that you need. And I'm also going to take the time to upgrade all the weapons so that you can see which weapons are best sort of at the end of the game. But this is a good farming spot. You got that guy there. Um, this guy will roam down from up top if you go up there and let him spot you. I just want to open up this last shortcut before I start. Looks like the, that piece of loot probably dropped down below. Um, so we took that guy out by kind of creeping up here and <clears throat> letting him spot us and then coming back down. And then he got this scientist here who is now a tier lower than we need for components. So we'll take him out, but he's less interesting than, than the technogenesis MK. So if you look around here, um, note that there is a way down in a chest there. There's also an audio log over here. I know your true nature. I know what you want and desire. You followed my trail like the loyal lab dog you are. You never even stopped to wonder who you really were. Too busy playing the hero, I suppose. Still, we had a lot of fun together. I remember the first time we met at Fort Nixon. I averted my mother. I averted you. It's funny. Unless we forget about little Johnny. Oh, well. You only did as you were told. Time and time again, you proven to be as malleable and as smart as a lump of clay. Think about your destiny. Don't you want to break free? To be more than a brainless slave? You're safe with me. Too 
he's getting a little power hungry. And I'll come down here. Critical muscular shunt. So when your health is low, you regenerate health and you get higher damage. This is kind of an, a handy one, but we're not going to rock that one. Um, and the Rig Capacitor XXL prevents the decay of three batteries, so you'd always have four batteries um, charged up, not decaying them. So that one's kind of handy too, but not one that I use. One other quick note um, just outside of the med bay, there is an audio log here that I missed. I will make it dirty. Go home and help me. Get your ass here. No man gets left behind while I'm in charge. But we did. All right, I'm gonna keep farming. See you guys back in a bit. All right. So the one way that we know that I know we can go, uh, we can come up here. This guy that we killed will no longer respawn. So you can actually walk across the pipe here. get around up top and then there's one last little bit of loot up here and a vision get that piece of loot and then there's a zip line up or an exo line up and if you go up that you will immediately engage brother Eli uh, if you beat him then you will proceed on to new game plus so we don't want to do that yet instead we want to back up and make sure that we get uh, that last section that I wasn't able to open up previously so we're gonna open up that then I'm going to farm all the stuff that I need to get up to MK10. And after I've got everything at MK10, um, including all of the weapons that I want to upgrade, so I'll upgrade those quite a bit, I'll come back and we'll have a little chat about weapons that we can use in gear, um, and then I'll go on and kill Brother Eli. But I would highly encourage you to make a backup save um, after you've gotten everything in the game that you want and farmed everything that you want, uh, come back up here and, and make a save. All right, now we're going to go and find out how to open up that other shortcut that I wasn't able to open yet. I'm going to come back around here, um, fight with this guy since we need to anyway. Let me get his leg.
that's right down there, and I'm wondering if I can actually just kind of jump out there. It's not going to let us. Maybe around from the side here. There we go. <laughs> There's probably a better way that we're supposed to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. some loot out there. Okay. And that opens that door. There we go. Uh, sort of a shortcut. I don't know if it's how you're supposed to do that normally, but I'm just going to have a look around and see if there's any other loot. So this is above that um, first aid station. So if you came back up from the lower med bay, you would be able to get up here. And then that goes all the way back up here. So I'm thinking there's something that we're supposed to be opening that we're not opening. But whatever, we got it. We got that last piece of loot, so that seems to work. Good enough. I'm going to cruise back up top. Um, so if you do want to get back, if there's anything that you think you're missing, any quests that you haven't done or anything like that, take the zip line down to the beginning uh, med bay and you can exit back out and go back out into the world. But this is it. This is your last chance to farm anything that you want to get, go get it. And I will see you back after I'm farmed. So one thing to keep in mind um, for farming, and I'll just do one farming set for you, uh, you can slot these two, uh, the Energized Material Converter and the Directed Material Extractor. And if you do the directional blocks and follow up with a the sever, then you'll get significantly more crafting components and all I'm doing is fighting this first guy here this is the one that you want to go after and then you just go back to the med bay um, and fight him again keep an eye out for that and if he splits no big deal um, try and get the directional block if you can keep your health up Sever. There we go. We should get quite a bit more. So I've got three leg gear for um, had some from before, but that should increase your yield if you get the uh, directional blocks followed by severs, and um, if you're just equipping that other one, should increase your yield too. So it'll speed up the farming a little bit. Alright, I will be back after I've gotten all of the components that I want to pick up. So I just wanted to record uh, how far I've gotten in terms of waves on Proto's Arena. Um, and I've got nearly a million tech scrap from this and this, and I started out with zero tech scrap when I came in. And I'm almost at a million now and the enemies have stopped dropping any sort of loot. Where I'm still getting tech scrap rewards and the music has changed as well. And there are no more bazooka guys. Um, and it's mostly MK9 guys. So this can turn into a really good farm tech scrap but you lose the um, at, at a very high number of tiers you lose the um, item rewards so here 
I'll show you. See, no loot. go without having the uh, reclamation buddy equipped I got 1,182,107 tech scrap in the new game just here in the arena so this is a great place uh, to level up although at the end it does stop giving you components so I think I will exit out you're doing great I like your style do you want to keep going no let's call it a day should give us an extra reward. I wonder what kind of extra reward he's going to give us. Good job. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. And what an awesome show you delivered. I love your moves. You should charge money for that. Here's you hear that? Something I should charge money for this. While. Next time, we should take it to the next level. What do you say? Ready for an encore? No oh, thanks, Proto. I'm, I'm all good. Not right now. Here's looking at you, kid. All right, I'm going to keep leveling up, and I will be back at the Great Wall shortly. And we're now ready to proceed on to the final battle. Just want to show you guys a few things really quickly. Uh, as you can see, I've got about 1.7 million tech scrap banked, and I'm at 110 core power. I have constructed all of the armor sets that I have available other than the Dark Prophecy set and the reason why I haven't constructed that is we don't get that until we defeat the final boss and go on into New Game Plus. That and one other armor set. I've also upgraded uh, my set that I'm wearing, the MG Cerberus all the way to MK10 along with the Metavoltaic Injection up to MK10 and uh, the weapons as well. So I'm currently using the Ungula Universalis, and I upgraded one of every uh, weapon type up to MK10. And as you can see, damage-wise, uh, the two top right now are the Rusty Ravager and the Ungula Universalis. Uh, I'm going to use the Ungula Universalis because it's a little bit quicker, better reach, still hits hard. Um, the other alternative that works well still is the Killer Claw, which is a very, very good weapon. Hits even faster. Um, the damage is only about three points per hit behind this on the um, spinning combo. So with how quickly that hits and how much energy gain you actually get with that, um, this is actually a better weapon if you like to get up close and personal. But I figured for the final fight, I'll go back to the spear. Um, and any of these weapons really are on a par. So up to you which one you prefer. Uh, I'm just going to play with the Ungula Universalis for this last little bit. I do love the Killer Claw, though. I think it's the best combination. Energy gain is through the roof. Your heals are through the roof. But the Ungula Universalis is still uh, very, very good. And the Rusty Ravager just hits like a truck. Now, Herald's Holographic Tail Blade, um, one out for the top damage on the single rigged above Warren's Redemption V2.0. However, so you can see that it'd go to 575, so two points lower than Harold's. That said, this has much better energy gain and it's faster, so it's definitely uh, worth getting. It does have a little bit lower impact, but it's definitely worth upgrading if you want to use Warrens. Um, Justice of the Iron Mouse wins out for Punching Gloves, Chalky Deaky for the double duty, 
uh, Killer Claw for Twin Rigged, and Deus Ex for One Handed. Um, for Elemental, I upgraded the highest damage weapon for each Elemental type. So we've got three spears and one punching gloves, which is good because all of those are pretty fast attacking and they'll stack the effect quickly. So for fire, um, Red Hot Poker wins out by far. Fisherman's Fiend uh, also for poison uh, punching gloves will win out there. Uh, Codename Carmina actually takes tap, top damage for uh, nano damage. And Brother Truman's Faith is unsurprisingly the best electricity damage weapon in the game. So these are the best weapons, and uh, this, 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 and this all come from the Kraken DLC, so definitely worthwhile to pick up the Kraken DLC if you want to get the best weapons in the game. Um, this I've also upgraded all of the other weapons to either um, MK8 or MK9, um, so just so that I could get a feel for how the damage would play out. So for example, this one... Um, these weapons would only upgrade to, uh, you know, 436, 435, somewhere around there, if we were to upgrade them. Um, and that puts you well behind the 489, 475 of these. These weapons do, um, so for example, the code name Parsifal would be a very, it's, it's on a par with these weapons and better even than, um, some of the weapon classes uh, for damage overall. However, that hammer does do less damage. Codename Parsifal does do less damage than the rest of your amateur. So unless you're using the Angel 6 set, then you'd probably want to just use the rest of your amateur. And it kind of goes that way along the board. Uh, so the codename Valkyrie, next highest damage, twin rigged weapon, 564. Uh, this is 572, so clearly better. And that kind of goes for all of these weapons down here, but you've, I've upgraded them, and I've left plenty of tech scrap on this save um, for those of you who would like to upgrade. And on that note, what I'm going to do, since you guys are awesome and I appreciate people watching and supporting the channel, I am going to upload my save to the uh, Google Docs, and I'll provide a link to that save. So for any of those, any of you out there who uh, are worried that you might have missed something along the way or whatever, you'd like to go into the next new game with all of these weapons upgraded and a bunch of tech scrap in the bank to upgrade any other armor sets that you'd like, you can go ahead and download that. And I'll provide that link in the description. But for now, we're going to move on and fight the final boss. Now... Before we move on to New Game Plus, there are a couple of things to note. In New Game Plus, there are two items that we haven't gotten um, in addition to the armor sets that we'll get from the from beating the boss. Those armor sets will get uh, one of them from beating the boss, the other one from Molly in Seaside Court, so you can just uh, buy it from her. So it doesn't matter which choice you make at the end of the game, you got to choose one or the other. Um, make your own backup save or use mine and do both endings just to see how they differ. So you can beat the boss, uh, copy your copy the save, the backup save that you have, put it back into the folder, and then redo them again to see the other the other ending. But I recommend that you do both endings. I think there's an achievement for doing each of them. Um, the other thing too is the two items uh, that you will get. Um, from going ahead and, and moving on into New Game Plus, so they were mutually exclusive with the other items that we already have. So one of those is the Tentacle, and you'll get that from the Kraken DLC. Um, the other item you get from doing um, the quest um, Gone Missing, and when you go back to Officer Klein, if you just tell her that you found the missing uh, couple, and then accept her reward without threatening to expose her secrets, you get the other one, which is Nesnar Axe. Um, so those are, and I believe it's called the SNR Falcon. Um, so those are the only items that we haven't gotten in the game, just those two armor sets from beating the boss. 
and those two weapons. And you'll get all of that in New Game Plus. So we've done everything we can here, and we'll move on now to beating the final boss. And as you're passing through here, you can uh, take out this guy to get some um, extra battery if you'd like. And extra components too if you'd like. Might as well, right? So we're all charged up and ready to go. Uh, this guy does apparently respawn. I didn't think he respawns, but there you go, you don't really need to deal with him. Uh, just hop around, go up top, and we can face off against Brother Eli. So when you get up here, and I'm going to pause really quickly, when you get up here, uh, you, the strategy for Brother Eli in order to get the V2.0 weapon and the alternate boss kill is to break all of his armor pieces. So that's the head, the body, the right arm, the left arm, the right leg, and the left leg. You have to break all of them. The safest way to do that is to actually do um, directional blocks until you get the follow-up, until you stagger them and get the follow-up chance. Do the follow-up and then uh, do enough damage to break the body part. So one follow-up will damage about half of the armor on that body part. You can also do R1, R2, R2. Um, I'll show you both. But his health is really tight in getting the break. So if you're having difficulty actually breaking all uh, all six body parts for him then i recommend that you do the directional block so i'll show you both as we're fighting through and before we head on in i just want to point out one more time this is the last opportunity for you to go out and do anything in new game once you beat him you will automatically if you select continue from the main menu proceed on into new game plus so we're going to go ahead and beat him now and wish me luck. I am tempted to get that revenge enemy down there, but we're going to get on with it. Too late, warrior. Nothing can stop me now. With Athena's power, I can bend reality to my will. All hail Eli, the spark incarnate. <laughs> so there are edges to the arena. Um, and basically, you know, as long as you've got the directional blocks up, you should be able to uh, sort of time these. They can be a little bit quick when he does them. When he does that, you'll want to jump back out. This one's a little bit slower of an attack. I uh, missed it still. But with our build, you should have plenty of energy and plenty of batteries. So you just back out when he does that. He's going to attack you. There we go. So you see I'm targeting his right arm right now. Some of these are really quick and difficult to uh, block. And my timing is off a little bit too. Um, but with our build, you got plenty of battery, plenty of energy. Uh, shouldn't be an issue. There we go. Got the second directional block. Third. Missed that one. No idea what he's doing there. There we go. That gives you the follow-up attack, which took out 1,700 damage also do that, which is the um, R1, R2, R2 combo. And you can see 
it takes about two or three of those to break uh, break a body piece. So the safer way to go is to do R1 or to do the directional blocks um, rather than. But, you know, if you want to just speed up the pace a little bit, then you can do R1 or 2 or 2. And with this weapon, we should be okay to break all of the body parts. So that's three body parts that we got. Right, we got right arm, head, left arm. Now, if you're doing the R1, R2, R2, then you want to make sure that you just don't do any damage to the other body parts. So just break the one that you're trying to do. There we go, broke the body. can also do charge attacks, I forgot about that. So very precise if you do uh, charge attacks. We're going to try and get that last leg broken. And you can face tank this guy, no problem. So if you say no, I'll be your executioner, then you will get the Dark Prophecy set as soon as you get your rig in New Game Plus. If you choose everyone deserves a second chance, even you, that's the uh, so-called good option. Um, and you'll get the other set, and then you'll have to buy the Dark Prophecy set from Mali in Seaside Core. Up to you which one you prefer. I'm going to choose everyone deserves a second chance, even you, um, for this playthrough, and then maybe on the next one. Plus, I'd choose no, I'll, I'll be your executioner. Perhaps humanity deserves to exist after all. Thank you so much. You never stopped fighting, never stopped believing. I always knew you'd save me, but now, it's time to look ahead. I can look right into your heart. I know what the reward you desire so much is. Your compassion and love are what make you whole. In the beginning, you were but an empty shell. But now, you've become the person I always knew you could be. You truly belong with the other humans. You are one of them. Deep down, you always have been. Maybe we were asking the wrong question. Being made by humans, machines will never be pure. They will always carry their heritage. By design, they can never be without flaw. But maybe they don't have to be perfect. Maybe all they need is And that 
that's it. We've done everything possible in the new game. Moving on to New Game Plus, we will get the Great Blade of the Archangel from Mali and Seaside Court along with the other armor set. And you will get the SNR Falcon from uh, Officer Klein. And you'll get the Tentakill from Killing Kane with water in the swimming pool. So those are the only items that we haven't gotten so far. Uh, I'll let you play through on New Game Plus and get those on your own. I'm going to end this walkthrough here. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to download that save if you would like to start off in New Game Plus with all the goodies upgraded and lots of tech scrap to upgrade things as you need to. And we'll see you back for the next game soon. I'm just going to let the uh, credits play out and uh, I'll end it at the end of them. But I will fast forward.